Hey guys, Lego World War II reviews here again, and today I am reviewing the Death Star Troopers Battle Pack, or the Lego Star Wars Death Star Troopers Battle Pack. Comes with 100 pieces, as pictured on the box, and it is set number 75034. Recommended ages are 6 to 12, and it does include the new blasters. Of course, uh, another. It was always an artwork on Darth, of Darth Vader for all the uh, 2013 or 2014 winter Star Wars stuff, like in general. And then it just has a little artwork right there, and then showing all the play features, of course. And yeah, there's another side of the box the bottom and there's the top so we're just gonna set the box in the background for now and first we're going to start with the figures so first off uh, you get a royal guard figure which uh, has new dark or probably not new I think I'm not sure if this was on any other figures before this, but now they have dark red arms and hands, as long along with a uh, two double-sided cape, uh, which is dark red on the inside, of course. Uh, hold on, focus. There we go. Dark red on the inside, and then just uh, red on the outside, and of course. Uh, same, we get the same mold on them for the helmet as we always have. Uh, hold on. And then just a plain black head underneath. And then, hold on. Oops, sorry. Then there's the torso. Hold on. There's the torso printing. Just sort of like uh, the robes of them. It's just like the tattered robes. And then they have four spikes. So, oh gosh, sorry about that, guys. But, that's pretty much it for the Royal Guard. And you get two of them. So, just set them to the side. Then you get a Death Star Trooper, which is very cool because he has a new molded helmet that has like a bit of printing on it actually hold on focus oh no uh there we go all right and then you have that's just the um imperial logo and then you have the, like, sort of blue and red lights on the side of his helmet. With, like, a silver bit. I guess maybe that would be, like, a communication button or something. Then his, uh, sort of armor there. With a printed belt on it. And those legs... And the legs would be very useful for a lot of custom figures. And of course he has the new blaster that actually shoots. Um, and then there's some back printing. So. And then also, we do have a printed face. And it is different on both of them, so I will show you the other one. But this one is sort of like a... Uh, Maybe a... I don't really know what that expression would be. But, yeah. And, of course, uh, the blaster does shoot, like I said. You just push down on this lever here, and it fires a stud. And you do get eight extra, I believe. In case you do lose one, because they are pretty easy to lose. 
so I'll just take the Death Star Trooper. Oh, nope, don't want you to see the face yet. Nope. But those faces would probably be useful for modern figures, too. Or, I mean, custom figures. Really, any type of custom figure. Uh, but there is his face. His is sort of like a worried expression, I guess. Yep. Now let's get on to the actual, uh, Death Star, uh, cannon, I guess. So it does have a swiveling chair that does swivel all the way around. And then this, the actual cannon itself, goes up and down. And then these aren't actually flick fire missiles, they're just there for looks. And then it has like a telescope piece on there. Okay, and there's one thing that's weird about this. Okay, you see how on the box it shows that, and that's the way I put it. But, hold on, sorry. I have to put you guys in for a second. I gotta get the instructions. Oh uh, gosh. Um. Alright, yes, but on the instructions, um, I gotta find the page, alright, yes, alright, on the instructions, it shows the telescope piece, uh, the other way around, instead of like that, so I'm not sure which way you're supposed to put it, uh, But co please comment down below uh, what you think is the correct way to put it. I I figured the box would be the correct way to put it, but I don't know anything. Anyway, here's the flick fire missile at the top. First, just show you both sides. And then the flick fire, or not really flick fire, it's more push fire. Uh, just fires like that. So, yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I know I'm, uh, I haven't been uploading a lot lately, but yeah, sorry. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this review, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and as, like, yeah. Uh, words. I cannot talk. As always, peace.